Hey, how's it going everyone? I hope you're having a wonderful time so far. I got lost in the GameStop for some reason, but I will not tell you that reason. In the end, I ended out with this Unbroken Bond Build-In Battle Pack that includes 23 evolution cards with one unique card, 4 booster packs from the Unbroken Bond expansion, and a card for the trading card game online, ooh. And if you're wondering why I'm wearing striped gloves, they help bring out my eyes. So how about we start getting this open right now with my trusty handy dandy pack opening screwdriver, of course. So right now, let's get that through as close to the mic as possible with a one, two, three. And with my nimble fingers, we'll get this plastic removed as you can clearly hear in your mu in your not your microphone your headphones of course so get that out of here and of course let's open this box up right now get this sleeve off and oh Ooh, there we go what we have here is a little pamphlet let's see what the pamphlet is anyway this little pamphlet shows my gloves are getting loose, my gloves are getting loose. Oh, deck building tips. Bonds tempered in battle. All right, so I'll keep that right there. With a little Charizard and Reshiram. Reshiram, right? That's how you pronounce it. Reshiram or Reshiram. And it gives us our four booster packs from Sun and Moon Unbroken Bonds. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Nice art, I do love the art though. And a 23 card pack featuring a lot of Pokemon so how about we get that open right away shall we let's get this open and off with you and let's get this card away let's start off with these so first off let's get these off otherwise I'll have to dig these out the giant pile I'm gonna make in a few seconds first card we have a stack attacker the big old block building with the wall of stone. The Ultra Beast Stack Attacker. That's a weird name, Stack Attacker. Oh, what's your favorite Pokemon? It's Stack Attacker. I don't know why. I just love the name Stack Attacker. I want to say it the whole time now. Stack Attacker, Stack Attacker, Stack Attacker. We got the Welder, the most important character in the Pokemon universe, the Welder. We can attach up to two fire energy cards from our hand to one of our Pokemon. So, having the Welder is important for a fire Pokemon. Of course! Next up, we have Lily! Oh, look at her. Draw cards until we have six in our hand. If it's your first turn, draw cards until we have eight. So, Lily sounds like a great support card. We have How! Draw three cards. Pretty simple right there. Pokemon Communication! We got another trainer- That's not a trainer! A Pokemon Communication device is not a trainer. Hey, we have Litten! Wait, one of the moves is called Catterday! That is so cute! Aw, Catterday! <gasps> Look! Double Catterday! <gasps> Triple Catterday! Of course! We need more Catterdays! Please, more weekends with Litten! We have Torcat with Firefang! I love the art of this Torcat, it's so cute! Oh, I just want to pick one up and hug it. But look, here it is again, I can hug it twice as much! Next up, we have Incineroar! Our Smash Fighter in the ring with Strong Cheer! Man, that is one good-looking Incineroar! Speaking of which, I can like it twice as much. Next up, we have Janine, our ninja. Koga's apprentice, I think. Look at the top four cards of your deck and put two of them into your hand. That's a pretty good support trainer. We have Looker, the detective. Draw three cards from the bottom. From the bottom? Interesting. Next up, we have er Erica's hospitality. I was gonna say Erika, like, that's not how you pronounce a name. That's like saying, Pixel? No, it's Pixel, not Pixel. We can play this card if we have four or fewer cards in our hand. 
draw a card for each of your opponent's Pokemon in play. Oh, that's nice. Looks like most of the support cards are just draw cards. They're very helpful. Next up, we got Crab Brawler with them blue punching gloves. Such a goofy looking Pokemon, I love it. Another one! It heard me calling it Goofy and it came back for revenge, but I love Crab Brawler. Hey, Crab Bombnable! Whoa! That a, it looks like a big ol' Yeti Spider. Please don't tell me it's a Yeti Spider. Please, please tell me it's not. Because it's back for more. It's always back for more. Whoa, we. That is one adorable sand shrew. It's so cute. It's back for more love. Ah! And we have sand slash and sand slash. We have sand sand and slash slash. Now let's start off with one of the unbroken bonds pack. So that's one featuring Reshiram and Charizard. Let's get that open right away and find out what cards we get inside. So far, I like the first one. Get that away. First up, we have... Poliwag! Look at that cute Poliwag. Round and round it goes. Look at this swirl. Will you get dizzy? Yes, you will. Be careful. Next up, we got Inkay. Oh, your Pokemon's active Pokemon is now confused. Wait, did I say that correctly? Yeah. Your Pokemon will get confused as much as I did earlier. We got Tentacool. That cool Tenet with Janine in the back. Oh, that's so cool. Next up, Drowsy. Look at that slumping Drowsy. Man, I wish I could be as lazy as that Drowsy. Cube. That is one adorable Cubone. So cute. Hey, Reverse Hollow Incineroar. You can see the shine. I guess I got three Incineroars now. Three? Wait, what? Blastphalon? Blazephalon? Blastphalon? The Ultra Beast. One of the moves is called Fireball Circus. Huh, it does look like a clown in some way. You best step into those shoes if you be clowning around, I guess. An energy card. And Graveler. Oh, look at that Graveler go with rolling rocks. Roll those rocks. The Metal Core Barrier. Now that's metal to the core. And a Fire Crystal. Ah, nice. So we got some support cards. Let's open more up. In that pack, we got, a, we got an Ultra Beast. And from the Evolution pack, that makes two. We got two Ultra Beasts. Let's see if we'll find any more. Next pack, we got the adorable Diglett. Look at that Diglett. Wait, is that Giovanni in the back? That has to be. That might be Giovanni. Poliwag is back, of course. Oh, baby Rhyhorn. Look at the baby. It might not be a baby, but it looks like one. It's very adorable, of course. The good dog right there, Growlithe. Combustion. It can spontaneously combust itself into flames. And it's fine. It's a fire type. Riolu. What is with the adorable cards we're getting lately? We're getting nothing but adorable cards and I like it. You see? Like Hypno. Hypno's adorable. The evolution of Drowsy, so we got a complete evolution right there. Spiritomb. Look at that shine right there. Look at that dizzy eye it's got. With the anguish cry. It will cry in your face. A fairy energy? Devolution Sprazy? Huh, devolve one of your evolved Pokemon. How would you feel in future Pokemon games that they will give you an item to devolve a Pokemon? Would you use it? How would you feel about using it? Togetic! Aww. Sniff those flowers, I hope you enjoy them. And Koga's trap to get Janine. Your actor, your Pokemon's your wow wow wow. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused and poisoned. Confused is not enough. It needs to be poisoned as well. 
And speaking of which, you know who's back? You know who's back, everybody's favorite. Crab Roller. <laughs> we got another Crab Roller. Next up, we got Sandile. Look at that Sandile. So cute. <laughs> it's so cute. <gasps> oh my goodness. Look at that Oddish. That is one adorable Oddish. Ah, and the Zubat here. One cool looking Zubat. Coughing. I choose you, coughing. I choose you, reverse hello coughing. I do like that coughing though. With that Team Rocket member in the back. Next up, we got Venomoth with another Venomoth. Double Venomoth way across the sky. They're assassins. So, what does it mean? You might get destroyed. Energy card. Right on with Giovanni. Nice, with the dirty work. Wow. If you play Giovanni's Exile from your hand, discard the top five cards instead. Well, not yours. The top five of your opponent's deck. That is some dirty work. Hey, War Turtle. I love that fluffy eared fool with the big old fluffy tail. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that baby. So cute. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Look at that adorable Cluffa! And now for the final pack! Let's do it! First up, the code card. Get that out of the way. Froki! Froki with its rubbles. I remember watching the episode of X and Y on the dub. I was watching the dub version for some reason. And they call those the Frubbles. You know, like Froakie Bubbles, Frubbles. He uses the Frubbles to be all sneaky like a ninja. I love Froakie, one of my favorite starters. Next up, another Crab Brawler. Uh, a different looking Oddish. Aww, Oddish are very cute, that's for sure. Squirtle. Look at the size of this absolute unit. That is a big boy Squirtle right there. Cutie. Another tentacle. We got the Beast Bringer. Grab all them beasts, grab them all. And we got Persian. Man, no wonder Meowth is jealous. Persian's looking mighty good, mighty awesome right there. Aqua Energy. Be careful, things are about to get a bit wet in there. Hit him on top. I remember from the anime, the dub, you know, the Pokemon anime that you see on 4Kids every weekend, that Hitmontop goes like, Hitmontop, top, 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 and it just yells out top until the battle's over or something. Just keeps yelling out top, 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 top. Next up, Gliscor. Uh, I like Gliscor. I haven't used Gliscor, but I do love Gliscor's look. Wait, is there another card behind it? Nope. And Frogadier. And that is the end of that right there. Surprisingly, we did not end up with any team teamed up Pokemon or anything. Really surprising though. Unless GameStop changed up my pack somehow, that they opened my box, changed up the packs, and then just rewrapped it themselves. But that's just a theory. A game theory. Thanks for watching, everyone!